everybody. The RV enthusiast here. Got a few projects this week on the RV. I'm going to bring it in uh, Sunday night and we'll get started on those. A um, few things I bought, I purchased. I bought this uh, tank rinser. I'm going to use that on the hot water tank. I think it needs rinsing. Um, got this uh, RV screen door handle. Seen that put on several RVs. Looks like a good idea. Uh, no problems yet, but I sure would hate a hand to go through it on accident, so I'm going to put that in. Uh, saw this on, saw RV Love uh, have a problem with a valve stem, and I have a slow leak on one of my back tires. I think this may be the problem. It's not really a leak, but uh, when I take the valve off, I have a little bit of hissing going on, so I think it's that valve stem problem. Hopefully that will solve that. I'll take care of that this week. Damp Rid in Oregon. We have a lot of moisture. Never used the product. Uh, they don't pay me for anything on this, but I'm going to try it, see if I have any moisture. I don't think I do. I don't see anything happening on, but, but you know, but for four bucks, that's a good, pretty good deal. The real project I got going on this week um, is this. Now, this will be uh, the majority of the project or of this week's topic. Uh, and for you guys, it'll be a snap. It'll go from this video straight into to this, probably. Um, got a couple of things. My tail light uh, license plate light lamp is really low end, very cheap. Uh, I bought this online to replace it. It's much sturdier. It's, it's, it's built better. Um, I'm going to give this a try and see how it holds up in comparison. Also, uh, the RV product I have uh, doesn't have a back cap. It has a, uh, it, you know, it's, it's like a Class C. It comes around uh, in one piece and comes down to the ground or to the to the bottom of the RV. And it, and the manufacturer put uh, some pretty cheap tail lights on it. Um, I've noticed some of the screws are actually starting to rust. I pulled one out and it's got a little bit of rust all the way through. So some little bit of water is getting through into the wood and behind the uh, fiberglass. So not enough to see any delamination. There is no delamination. I've taken it off and looked, but I need to replace those lights with something better and I need to seal that a little bit better. Anyway, I got these online and um, they're just made much better. They're solid, uh, backed. They unscrew here for the light to come out if you need to you know, replace the lights. Uh, <clears throat> hey, good morning, good morning. First project, putting on the screen door crossbar. Let's get started. Okay, first part of the project is getting our width correct. So once we set our width, we'll turn it over and we'll screw screws into the back and that'll set that width. And then we can go ahead and screw it into the, at the right height, in a height we like, um, and install it. So give me one second here, we'll start taking this on. tape is pretty old. It does not want to work for me. I like about where that's at. But I want that grab handle to be more centered for the metal portion. That looks pretty good. So that's set for my width. I can Use the other piece of this tape. Set this up. Pretty simple, really. Right about there. I like that. And then we'll just tape that on there. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, we're gonna drill this, put the screws in, and uh, that'll set our our width and we'll check it again and then we'll install it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this, <laughs> cover up the hole. We'll 
we're just going to drill through here. Just going to touch through it, then we'll put the screw in it. Good. Now we'll do this side. Just put it up there again real quick, make sure. Yep, that's where I want it. Now we'll do this side. There we go. I'm going to put the Phillips head screw in there. I'm going to screw that in. That one's done. Take another, place it in the hole. That one's done. Now, let's kind of eyeball it again. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now I got to figure out where I want it. So that's going to involve closing the door. And I'll measure where I like it. I'll put that, we'll put another piece of tape there. We'll put another piece of tape there. And uh, and then we'll have our height. Probably enough. All I need is a little bit of that, and uh, I'll be with you in a second. All right. So it's about three fingers for me. So pretty much I think just below that piece of tape is all I need. That'll do. All right. So I'm going to tape I'm going to get a tape measure. I'm going to measure up here. Then I'll measure the same distance up here. Doesn't matter if the RV's level or not that distance is going to be straight across. So, let me get a tape measure, I'll mark it, and we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. So, it looks, five, five inches is probably great. So, black marker on a black frame, perfect. Black marker, put it right there. Oh, it's a red marker, I'm, I'm in luck. Right there. Yep, I'm going to go five inches. Probably hard for you to see. A little hard for me to see. But it's okay. I think it'll work. So five inches. So I'm, uh, I'm colorblind. And this, not the best in the world, but I can see it. So we're going to do this tape thing again. This tape is crispy. Very old. Wow. Uh, I do have blue tape. It is in the wife's paint box. Uh, usually stuff that's in that paint box I'm not allowed to touch because I either lose it, use it, and don't replace it. She ain't happy. So I try not to get her stuff. I try not to touch her stuff. Okay. So there we are on that. I think I'll just do that. Right there. That's good enough to hold it. You don't need to, um, you don't really need to go, I hope you guys can hear me. You don't really need to go crazy on how hard you tape it, how great of a, you know, 
a taper you are, <laughs> all you gotta do is get it to hold till you get them two screws in there. And uh, frankly, I think that's probably good enough. Yeah. I think that is good enough. Looks good there. Looks good there. So we'll drill a hole here and a hole here. We'll put those screws in. That'll tighten it. And then we'll drill the bottom holes. So I like where it's sitting. Ooh-wee. Here we go. There we go. This is a very easy project. Um, I bought this crossbar at uh, Camping World. It was on sale from 16 or 17 bucks. It was seven dollars. And they had it in three colors. I think black, white, or chrome. And I just thought the chrome was nice, so that's the one I got. And the last two screws, and we're done. That project is over. Got quite a few more projects I need to do. Um, this is just the first of quite a few. Done. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, looks good. Pretty stable. Um, probably won't hold you up in the event of a major fall, uh, but at least it'll stop you from tearing that screen out going down. Uh, and may may stabilize you a little bit once in a while. Um, we'll get started on the next project here real soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.